Hello. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Dad. Hi, Martin. I've been listening to both of you talk about forgiveness a lot recently, and there's a topic that I think you've skirted around, and I really want to hear you both dig into this area. Imagine you are an adult, um, a young adult whose parents are healthy, aware, um, and you have some memory, some trauma, great or small, that is unresolved in your life. And you've tried to resolve it, you've tried to take ownership or responsibility of it, but you still feel that you need an apology or uh, uh, to be asked for forgiveness uh, or closure. But for whatever reason, your relationship with your parent is not such that you can easily get it. Maybe it's a cultural difference. Maybe your relationship is not mended. What advice do you both have to someone in that scenario where they are continuing to carry some baggage, they want to forgive, but they can't let go of the pain or the hurt, and the forgiveness, the, or the apology rather, is not forthcoming? Mm -hmm. Well, not, not that I know anything about good parenting, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but just to take the question on its face, uh, it would seem to me that one needs to at least broach the subject of that incident and express it and then own it and at least get an acknowledgement, if not an apology. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you can't get an apology. Sometimes the other party will think they are perfectly justified, but at least you can agree on what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. also think that you know, um, understanding what damage that incident did to the other person is very crucial because, you know, it, it could be that they said something or they did, they did something, but they weren't aware of how that affected you. So to be able to express that in a way that is not forthcoming, um, you know, or full of mentions, but really from the heart explaining to them what it did to you and what it you know what you had to go through because almost majority of the times I feel like they're not aware mm -hmm. and half of the acknowledgement in fact in fact even the apology has to come from that knowing that this is what my act did this is the effect right and, and you might find uh, that's happened in, in those all too rare an occasion when they explain it from their point of view and you see that it, it didn't need an apology because right. it was something that was good and positive uh, and you're the one that had misunderstood what happened. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is like it's really lack of communication mm -hmm. between yes. people who are related mm -hmm. that yes. often gives rise to the situation. Yes. Yeah. But what would you say? I, I'd say those are absolutely on, on point that if uh, the first thing, first order of business is to communicate your struggle, communicate what you experience, mm -hmm. to create empathy between you and this loved one who has hurt you, so that maybe that creates the, the bridge necessary. The, the reason that an apology isn't forthcoming is because they simply don't understand how this made you feel and how it continues to make you feel. So rather than asking for an apology, create a bridge for empathy. But if that isn't possible, right? And, and as you said, in, in those instances, maybe, maybe you gain new understanding and, and, and you misunderstood their, uh, the, the purpose the of the, the intent. And even if the, if the event was still not good for you, perhaps understanding that the intent was, was good can help in your path to healing. But even if those instances aren't available, I'd say the one recourse that I think that you can have is to try to, you should still share this event with your loved one. And you should say that you forgive them. Even if you don't yet, you should say that you forgive them because that will help push you into the path of forgiveness. Forgiveness doesn't happen on a dime. It doesn't, it's not a switch that's turned. But leaning into an act of forgiveness can help you experience the release of forgiveness. Even if 
you don't feel consciously that the person has done their part, that they have earned it or warranted forgiveness. The goal here is to s s sever your connection to the pain, is to release you from the baggage. It's not for them, it's for you. And in, in, with that in mind, lean into the forgiveness as much as you can at every point that you can, I think. I think that's well, very good.